What's going on everyone? My name's Roscoe and we are back. So today we're going to be taking a look at the new Yeezy 700 V3 Kyanite. This sneaker is dropping on March 25th for a retail price of $200. This is the first 700 V3 for 2021. It kind of seems like it's a little bit quiet out there. I don't know if people are just not a fan of this colorway. It comes in a regular Yeezy brown box, no change there. Now the sizing tag, Yeezy 700 V3, and the official colorway is Kyanite. Sizing for the 700 V3 can be tricky. This shoe is very narrow and sleek. I personally go a half size up on all Yeezy sneakers, but for this one, if you do have wide feet, you might need to go a full size up. Let's take a look at this sneaker. Yeah, these are nice. Now here are the Yeezy 700 V3 Kyanite. I just love the design on this sneaker. It's very aggressive. It just looks super fast, so futuristic. And it's a cool, like nice low top Yeezy sneaker. The cool features about this shoe is the filter that goes right across the sneaker. So it's like a little thin mesh filter, but you see that wave pattern that just matches the sneaker. So it just kind of keeps that flow from the heel to all the way to the toe box. One thing I didn't notice from the images online is that they added green in there. I thought it was just straight blue at first. There is some kind of like turquoise green on the toe box and also on the back of the heel. So it's like, it's kind of like in the wave and then it kind of fades to blue. This color pattern reminds me of something that Ye tweeted out last year and it's the same color as this sneaker where it's half green, half blue. So I don't know if that was maybe the inspiration behind this sneaker as far as the colorway. Now you also have the cage on the side that's kind of like a TPU plastic cage it does in fact glow in the dark. So all Yeezy 700 V3s do glow. It's kind of like a cool added bonus. I don't think it's necessarily needed. The one thing that's really cool about this sneaker is the sole. Dude, the sole is so heavy duty. <laughs> like I feel like this shoe cannot crease. And I also like how it's super easy to clean because it has like that heavy duty plastic material. You know, if it does get dirty, you can just kind of take some water and just rub it right off. I also like the bottoms. <laughs> the bottom is super aggressive, kind of alien-esque. The EVA foam, which is the comfort on this sneaker, is in green. So it sort of matches the green on the filter. Now, the one downside about this sneaker is the comfortability. I don't think it's the most comfortable Yeezy sneaker in the lineup, it does take a while to break in. When you first take it out and you put your foot in it, it does come across very stiff and hard. Give it about 24 to 48 hours if you do wear it, I think it will break in very nice. It's just a thin layer of EVA foam. It's the same material that they put on the Yeezy slides. However, the Yeezy slides, it's like a huge thick padding. Hopefully in the near future, maybe with a V4, they kind of keep this same design and they put some boost in it. But again, you put boost in these shoes, you'd have to increase the retail price. You know, these are very affordable. They're only $200. The tongue is like one constructed booty. So it's literally just a slip on shoe. It does come with the Infinity style lacing system. I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like the original laces on my Azale pair, but I do understand why they put the Infinity lacing system on this shoe because it does hold the shoe kind of tight together. Now they do give you an extra set of laces. So if you don't like the Infinity style lacing system, you can just cut them off and swap it with regular black laces. I do expect it to sell out. Even though I stated, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of buzz behind this shoe. I think when it comes to release day, people are gonna log on, botters are gonna log on, resellers are gonna log on, and they're gonna go for this shoe. That low retail price for this shoe has a very good upside. I mean, if you look right now on StockX, these are going for like 330, 350 in some sizes. I do expect it to come down. I think these will probably settle at 275. But in the long run, I think this has very good upside and I think this can go right back up to 350. I know some people out there have compared this shoe to the Azerith. Now here is my Azerith pair and here is the new Kyanite pair. It's a different blue. It's not as bright as this one. 
And I think with the bright blue and the white sole really makes this shoe very loud. And I think a lot of people might like this shoe just a little bit more because it might fit with their style or what they have in their closet. I think you can't go wrong with either one. To me, if I was gonna pick, I like this colorway a little bit more, but like I mentioned, I think I'm gonna end up wearing this one more. Let me know what you guys think of the new Kyanite 700 V3. Is this gonna be a cop or a drop? Stay tuned for the live cop because we will be going for these. If you did like this video, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And like always, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Quickly, I want to show you all of them, might as well. Uh, so we have Kyanite, we have Azerith, Safflower, and Clay Brown. Low key, the black 700 V3s, Clay Brown and Alvis, they have the best glow. The Alvis, AKA the Batman 700 V3s, and then you have the original OGs, which is the more iconic uh, colorway. I haven't worn these in a while, because if you've noticed, the resale price on this shoe is insane. <laughs> so there you go.